Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Rajat Jain. So we are basically, as you can see, we are into the business of saving lives. Uh, started uh, from the other side a few years back. Uh, I have been uh, sitting somewhere in the back side of the audience. Uh, a student uh, who never actually uh, studied physics, chemistry, or mathematics. Uh, I have been fortunate to, uh, you know, uh, study both in Shastra, Science, Arts, or Gani. So, uh, you know, somebody told engineering girl to both scope it. And this is how I landed into the engineering. So, and then uh, some great guy came and said, uh, you know, when I asked what exactly in engineering, because pata chala pe to kafi sari hoti hai. And then said, uh, you should go for civil engineering because this is a, you know, everlasting, evergreen branch, right? And this is how I, uh, you know, uh, came to the engineering world. And uh, this is where uh, I learned, you know, uh, whatever uh, I'm trying to do today. So when I came to the engineering, uh, you know, pehle saal mein pata chala that, you know, civil is not something which I can do. And, uh, you know, there is a very, uh, uh, you can say, famous saying, ki asman se tapka, sajur pe latka. And uh, I changed my branch to mechanical engineering. So, uh, <coughs> Let's come to uh, why we started doing this and uh, what exactly we do. So heart attacks, right? Unpredictable, sudden, you know, uh, no control, uh, disheartening. You know, these are the things which uh, comes in our mind when we think of heart attacks. And if we look around, uh, we see so many people dying of heart attack, you know, uh, dying of heart attack, uh, having chest pain. And, uh, you know, uh, we all must have, uh, you know, uh, seen at least, you know, a few people uh, losing to the uh, heart attack. And uh, I'm born in water in a small village uh, in Uttar Pradesh. And, uh, you know, I've seen that people are actually living with uh, heart attacks. They're very uh, okay with it. You know, uh, agar late ho jata hai, to chalta hai. Uh, unko chest pain hua, jab tak hum hospital lekar pahunche, uh, he or she was no more. So these are the, you know, uh, very uh, common uh, sayings and, uh, you know, we are living with it. <sighs> if we go uh, and look uh, for the stats, even in this COVID time, heart attacks have killed more people than uh, COVID. Uh, about 30% of overall deaths globally happens due to heart attack even today. Uh, we are talking about the technologies, we are talking about the solutions, we are uh, talking about going to the Mars now. But, uh, you know, these are the basic situ situations, basic uh, problems which uh, we have not uh, been able to solve for some reason. And that's why uh, we thought, uh, let's do something in this uh, industry and we can solve this particular problem. So, uh, when we started uh, jumping uh, on this particular thing, this uh, particular industry is called graveyard for some reason. I don't know for what reason, but uh, this particular industry is actually called graveyard. And we thought, uh, you know, uh, if you have to survive the uh, graveyard, you have to learn some basic things. And, uh, you know, the solution uh, to uh, this particular uh, big graveyard problem is, you know, the simple mindset. And I'll, uh, I'll be talking about how we have been able to do that. So before we jump on uh, the further uh, presentation, uh, this is a basic survey we did uh, recently on World Heart Day to actually examine how uh, how many people know uh, about uh, you know abnormal heart heart attacks and what they exactly do uh, when somebody is having a chest pain. So uh, in case of having chest pain, what are those her per? What do you do in general? What do you do? I I go sit down, start with heart attack. Attack, but I don't I don't believe that easy to be taken. One should know how does your body behave. Hi guys, this is Sabit from Sunfox Technologies. 29th September, as you all know, World Heart Day. So, today we will be able to get this to know how many people ECG and after the chest pain, what do they do in the chest pain? So, let's go. ECG has done it. No, I don't have done it. I don't have done it. I don't have done it. I will do 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 it. I 
then uh, to operate that machine you need a you know a technician or a expert to uh, you know uh, get a trace out of it and the third thing is you need a cardiologist to understand those results because that doesn't make any uh, sense uh, to uh, any other person and that is one of the reason that it is still uh, you know uh, away from the reach of the uh, cardiologist uh, sorry uh, from a common person and then uh, it is expensive so uh, let's talk about a story uh, you know uh, how uh, the innovations uh, uh, are happening and what is the thought process uh, behind it so uh, we must have seen this uh, suitcase uh, you know uh, so uh, it's been in existence uh, for the ages and uh, we have been you know carrying it uh, uh, everywhere then uh, one brilliant mind came and thought let's put two tires in it so that uh, you know uh, we provide more accessibility to it then uh, you know uh, we have been again hum log isko gasite ja rahe the for time that then somebody else came and said let's put uh, four tires in it so because you don't have to you know uh, it's more uh, accessible convenient and transportable for you so this is how uh, you know uh, we see uh, the problem and uh, these are those people who uh, actually uh, put those four tires in that uh, briefcase my team uh, you know uh, when we talk about the first apollo mission uh, the chip uh, which actually helped uh, for the you know uh, apollo uh, mission to land on the moon uh, it was you know and the smartphone which we have in our pocket uh, your smartphone as uh, you know uh, my previous speaker uh, actually mentioned beautifully that it's uh, it's a miracle we have in our pocket it's uh, 10000 times faster than the chip Uh, which uh, you know uh, made that uh, landing happen. And so why don't we make some good use of it? Why can't we uh, you know uh, make uh, use your smartphone to actually monitor those cardiac abnormalities? And that's how we started. We actually trying to democratize and uh, commoditize cardiac health and bringing that uh, for less cost uh, cost than a cup of tea. I'm sure uh, you all uh, must have uh, you know had a tea or coffee in the morning, but this is the solution which we have built uh, you connect a device to your smartphone and you get icu grade uh, data and uh, the diagnosis within a minute on your smartphone without a doctor so meet spandan uh, what are the usual things uh, which we carry in our pocket uh, maybe a card holder a smartphone maybe a car key right so these are the things which we uh, usually carry in our pocket but imagine carrying us uh, you know a uh, electrocardiography machine which you uh, you just uh, have seen on the uh, screen uh, which is as small as this so this is what we uh, make uh, it is uh, half of a uh, typical uh, card holder you can see here and it weighs only 12 gram so uh, you throw it uh, on the floor you know you again uh, pick it up and you can use it it's completely maintenance free there is no battery inside there is no internet required not no moving part not even a single button inside so you know uh, you put it on shelf for 5 years because this is not something which you can flaunt uh, this is not uh, you know something as part of your luxury this is not something which you use every day right so you don't have to uh, you need something which you uh, which is not required to be maintained right and that's why uh, we built this solution like this we call it uh, dil ka thermometer this is actually uh, something which you uh, can do uh, you know uh, with this we all have a thermometer at home right and but we don't fall sick every day why why we have the thermometer because the idea is to have it uh, for that accessibility you uh, you can use it when you need it the most right so uh, you know so the idea is if somebody is having a chest pain some day so the idea is you know uh, it is accessible maybe at home if not at home padosi ke ghar if not uh, there then maybe at the clinic at least right So, and uh, the best part of it because uh, when we talk about the medical devices so medical devices are all about accuracy <laughs> and uh, the reliability so we have achieved 99.76% accuracy on the trace uh, and that's why we say that it gives you icu grade information uh, just uh, at the comfort of your home and uh, we bring the cost from a $1000 machine uh, which has been there in the existence like uh, after a lot of innovations to just $100 
and we are further you know breaking down uh, that cost to just thirty dollars. That's what we do. And you spend a uh, hundred dollars or you know uh, about eight thousand rupees, and that's free uh, for the lifetime. You can own it and you know uh, you can keep it uh, uh, with you. How we do that? Uh, you get this kind of the interpretation instead of that uh, you know uh, trace. Uh, or maybe on top of that trace, uh, which you know, uh, which makes a lot of sense for a non-medical person. You know, uh, anybody uh, can understand what is the risk level when you need to see a doctor. Uh, you know, if it is on borderline, you you have to see a doctor, but you can uh, you don't have to rush. You can make an appointment, go and see a doctor. If it's on red, then you have to see a doctor immediately, and you also need a first aid. And then if it is on low risk, then you are all good. These are some of the examples how uh, we have been able to uh, take it to the last mile, be it a tribal health uh, center in the mid of forest, in the tribal regions, be it a community health center, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, in extreme uh, hills of Almora and Pithorar, uh, be it the defense uh, or uh, the urban, semi-urban, rural clinics, we have penetrated, uh, you know, uh, in all segments. And uh, when you put uh, this kind of product to the market, people come with a different, uh, you know, other use case. So I got a call uh, from a vet doctor and uh, he said, can I use it on a crocodile? And I was like, what? <laughs> this is not designed for that purpose. And then uh, he came back and said, hey, uh, this uh, works, you know, I tweak the electrodes a bit and it works very beautifully on a crocodile. And then, uh, you know, uh, I met a doctor who has been using uh, this product uh, on the, you know, uh, p uh, for the pediatric applications, right? So, from the first uh, test he did on a two-day-old baby. And you need very advanced, uh, you know, uh, machines to do those specialized tests, which you can just do on your smartphone. So, this is how it works. connect the device with your phone the phone will guide you uh, how to use it further you choose which test do you want to do you put the electrodes on the body then you complete the test there are eight different tests available and then you this is how you get the trace on top of that uh, you get that ai interpretation and you can also take a printout like a normal report uh, which you know you can share with the doctor uh, an AI engine, uh, which is a completely edge-based engine, uh, you don't need uh, uh, internet, you put your phone into the flight mode, you still uh, you can do the test. Uh, we detect uh, more, uh, you know, about 40 uh, different heart disease, including all myocardial infraction, which is commonly known as heart attack, uh, ischemic cases, uh, heart dysfunctions, and the arrhythmias. So, uh, skipping a beat is not always uh, due to love, uh, love matters. Uh, that's called arrhythmia, actually. And we detect that on the smartphone. These are some of the uh, accomplishments uh, which uh, we have been, uh, done uh, so far, uh, apart from uh, the appreciation uh, from the Prime Minister uh, to the World Economic Forum and uh, to getting appreciated by the National Health Authority. These are some of uh, those. So the impact which uh, we have been uh, trying uh, to uh, make, uh, this is where we are in the process. Uh, we have recorded about 10 million heartbeats so far uh, in just a span of one year, uh, one year of the commercialization of the product. And uh, we have deployed uh, 15,000 plus active devices to 2,000 plus pin codes in 11 countries. And uh, we have uh, 1,200 plus villages in all remotest uh, part of the country, uh, you know, empowering, uh, people and uh, you know doing the right diagnosis at the right time and uh, we are proud that we have already saved uh, more than 2000 plus lives that includes my father's life uh, you know uh, this so yes you all know uh, us from the shark tank and uh, we have been one of uh, the few startups of the shark tank history uh, who got uh, all five shark teams uh, and all five sharks uh, invested in us so uh, now when you build a product, uh, how it can actually change the behavior of the customers. So uh, what's the behavior today if I go, so uh, I'll uh, talk about my father, you know, uh, I, uh, he was actually having a chest pain or maybe uh, a little, uh, you know, uh, palpitation. When uh, my mom told me that, uh, you know, uh, he was growing up. So these are the usual thing which you hear and uh, what you do in that case, okay, he need a medicine for the gas and you give it to him. And I said, why? 
it could be something else, right? And uh, she said, no, uh, he's absolutely fine. Gaisi to ho gaya hai. Why are you just, you know, uh, overthinking? Why are you thinking too much? So when I said, uh, let's do an ECG. And he said, no, 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 uh, I don't want an ECG. I'm absolutely fine, right? So this is the usual uh, consumer behavior. Now at this point of time, if I would ask him, okay, let's go with me uh, to the hospital and we'll uh, do an ECG. Uh, it's like a huge friction you will face uh, to take that kind of a you know a patient or a person uh, to the hospital to get an ECG done in the early stage, right? The symptoms are visible. Uh, there is a high uh, you know kind of uh, uh, chances to have a cardiac abnormality, but due to that kind of friction and the behavior, you cannot take a patient to the hospital to get the first test done, right? But when you take to a patient to the hospital, it's too late. Uh, usually we see uh, patients in the cardiology, people who are collapsed already, uh, that you know, uh, someone else is bringing them to the uh, emergency, or uh, you know, somebody who is actually having severe uh, palpitation or chest pain coming uh, maybe after 10, 12, 15 hours. And the third one is somebody referred. Otherwise, we don't see any new patients coming to the hospital. Why? Why not in the early stage? If we know in the early stage, we can absolutely, uh, you know, save a lot of lives. But uh, I'll come back uh, and touch this uh, thermometer uh, story. Uh, we have a thermometer, pulse oximeter or, uh, you know, the blood pressure monitor today. Even if you're feeling a little dizziness, uh, you're feeling, uh, you know, a little tired, what do you do? Chalo. Uh, blood pressure check कर लेते हैं कहीं blood pressure down तो नहीं why because that accessibility uh, you have and that availability you have which uh, you don't mind to use it because you don't have to go anywhere right and that doesn't cost you a lot so when I ask my father कि आपको कहीं जाना थोड़ा ही है easy जो तो मेरे साथ है मेरे पास है let's do it we did it we found it is an ongoing case of tachycardia Okay, and then he was also having preliminary signs of AFib. Uh, I shared it with the doctor. Doctor said you need these particular medici medications in the emergency and then uh, bring him to the hospital tomorrow. When I uh, took him to the hospital, there was a severe abnormality which we eventually found in the very early stage. And that's the difference which we can make by the early detection. So uh, if we uh, would have not uh, found that uh, particular abnormality in that stage, so ultimately stenting uh, or you know uh, that angioplasty is the solution, right? And we see a lot of angioplasty is happening. You have a chest pain, go to a hospital and doctor says you need angioplasty, right? Why people need, uh, you know, know that, uh, why people think that uh, heart attacks are unpredictable and sudden. It doesn't happen immediately. The signs are there in the early stage in most of the cases. Uh, you know, uh, it goes gradually up to uh, say uh, 10, 20, 50 if uh, the, we talk about the blockage and then it is sudden after that, right? So, and people ignore the early symptoms. So that's what we are trying to solve and this is how we are changing the behavior. Uh, I'll be, uh, you know, uh, sharing one of the impact story. We all know Kedarnath, right? Uh, it's very close to the Instagrammers nowadays. And, uh, you know, but we when we talk about the real thing, uh, we had 1.5 million uh, pilgrims this uh, year uh, visiting Kedarnath uh, for that extensive trek of 20 kilometers. In the very first two months, 102 deaths happened. Out of 107 total deaths, at that holy place, those 102 deaths happens due to heart attacks. <coughs> when we saw this, it's my home state, uh, this is where we are based out of, we thought let's do something about it. We actually deployed uh, some of our team, team members there with just these three tiny beautiful devices and we have actually reduced the total number of deaths to one-fifth in rest of the months you can see here on the place. That's what impact you can do if you just flag off the patients who are not fit to go there and by providing the basic uh, medications without a doctor. We, we have seen more than uh, 60 patients there in the ongoing uh, heart attack conditions, in the ongoing abnormal conditions and we actually provided the triage to them and stabilized those patients and then uh, you know transferred to the nearest hospital which is 6 hours away. So now uh, we have built something uh, which can actually uh, you know uh, help people at home. 
बट यू नो टेक्नोलॉजी का कीड़ा एक बार काटने के बाद उसका कोई इलाज नहीं है then uh, you have to keep unlocking the potential and you have to keep thinking because this is what you live breathe eat sleep you know that's something which you do all of the my uh, you know uh, entrepreneur friends can understand that here so what we are doing this so we uh, thought okay let's take it to the space imagine uh, it excites us uh, very well that if you use the same technology to the space we developed a solution on top of the same technology repackaged it and it's a crew monitoring solution now which can monitor heart dynamics in the space of an astronaut uh, and then uh, we are uh, going to be the part of uh, one of the you know uh, very rare missions uh, and you know uh, monitoring the astronauts in the space so this is my learning uh, about the product development and the uh, solution uh the mistake which i used to do uh, that you know the first one i used to think that this is the product development process if you want to build a car but that's not the product development process for us it's very frugal it's very simple uh, you know you have to think simply uh, that you know if you want to make a car so it's a mobility solution we uh, which you have to start thinking of you have to build a prototype which may not look like a final product but it should work like a final product and then you further iterate and then uh, reach the final work yeah uh, thank you so much <laughs>